So 4 minus x plus x equals to 4, which is satisfying my first option that four children receive book and a toy. Now five children receive book and puzzle. So five book and puzzle means I have this area common between them book and puzzle. So x is already existing over here. So similarly, if I am going to write it, uh, what is the next part? That should be 5 minus x. So explanation 5 minus x plus x, which is 5. That means five children receive a book and a puzzle. Now several children receive puzzle, not a book, not a book, not a toy. That is a little tricky. Now, not a book, not a toy. So not a book means, not a book means we are going to uh, puzzle. Puzzle means puzzle is here. Okay, this area, but not a book. That means you cannot take this part, not a book. This part is not acceptable, not a toy. So this is also not acceptable. So we have to just, uh, just have to write this area this area how you're going to represent this do you understand what i'm saying do you understand what i'm saying he's saying not a book and not a toy so book and toy area you cannot include right so rest of the areas receive puzzle, only puzzle. So this area only you have to consider. So what will be your answer? Anyone, if you got an idea? No one is responding. So I'm only saying, okay, that means this area is part of, this area is a part of seven. So you will write seven over here, seven. Okay. So it can, this is the part of the value. So it was five minus X. This is my completed, completed Venn diagram. This one should be 4 minus x, it should be 5 minus x, and this is completely 7 because they said 7 children received the puzzle. So these are the things you have to fill it. Next, we are going for, if I scroll down, it is saying there are 40 children in the nursery. Using the Venn diagram, write down and solve the equation of x. So 40 children in the nursery. So total, this is the total children in nursery. So what you have to do, you have to write the equation in a form of 40. That means 11 plus 4 minus x, everything, plus 9 plus 6 minus x plus 5 minus x plus x plus 7 plus 4 equals to, how much was the total? I think 40. Yes, 40. So this is 40. Okay, anything I have missed out? Check. 11, I put it. 4 minus x, 9. Then 6 minus x, 5 minus x, x, 7, 4. Okay, I hope I have covered everything. So let's see. So now you're going to calculate it. As per question, it is showing about this. Now we're going to calculate it. So 11, 11 plus 4 plus 9 plus 6 plus 5 plus 7 plus 4 okay now minus x because 4 minus x was existing 6 minus x minus x then minus x 5 minus x plus x because this x is there so equals to 40 i have separated all the numericals and the x together so now this x is cancelled so i have 11 plus 4 15 
Okay, 11 plus 4, 15. 15 plus uh, 9 is 24, right? 24 plus 6 is 30 plus 5 plus 7 plus 4. That is coming 46. So I'm getting 46 minus 2x equals to 40. Ultimately, 2x equals to 6. So x equal to 3. So this is the answer for part B. This is for part A. Anyone have any question? No, sir. If you have any doubt, please. Class, if you have any doubt, this is a part of B and this is a part of A. A, you have to fill this one using uh, the information and part b is you have to just write sum of the all values equals to 40 solve for x this is the pattern so you can see this asking for book and puzzle so book and puzzle not a toy means this x part you cannot take it so x 5 minus x is your book and toy okay so that's a common okay anyone can say that what what was the value of x what was the value of x three three so two students are getting both book and puzzle right that's a common but not a toy okay next problem next problem scroll let's scroll down uh, next problem is saying NB. NB means number of elements in B. Number of elements in B. So if you consider B has, this is a, a second part of the problem. So B has now 4 minus X plus 9 plus X plus 5 minus X. This is the total B, right? So if you consider 4 minus x and this x this is cancelled so i'm getting 4 plus 9 plus 5 minus x so x you know already it is 3 so i can i can directly substitute the value that is 3 so 9 plus uh, 4, nine, 4 plus what's the key <laughs> <laughs> but i was talking so much hello what's up Eighteen minus three is fifteen. So that is your number of element in B. Okay, this is the part three of C. This was C part two. Is that clear? Any doubt? No doubt, sir. So. N. N means number of element between uh, B union P inside B and P. We are getting 25. If you calculate, you are going to get 25. So directly you can say complement means B union T union P and their complement. Union means inside of the circles. Okay. Complement means except this circle. So rest of the part. Rest of the part means only one element is left. That is 4. So number of element in between B union, T union, P complement is 4. Okay. In this question, just be careful. They said T union, P. So T is this, union, P is this. So we have this area. I'm just uh, marking it. T is this and P is this. Right? T union P. Complement. Complement means this pink area, this area, except this area, rest of the part. Now they said, rest of the part means it could be anything. Right? Now they said B intersection rest of the part. Intersection means what? Common. So if you consider the common part, 
common is coming only this area. Because between B and other area, the common is only this area. So, my answer will be this blue color shade. I hope it is clear now. A union B complement. So A union B complement, A union B means, see, so what is the meaning of that? A union B means inside part, means this A. Right? So if A union B is not there, that means this is not, uh, it is given as a complement. So what should be the next one? So complement means it should be outside one. So my region will be outside because it has given A union B complement. So this is the answer. All of you have got the same answer or something different? Anyone have any doubt? Anyone may have any question? We are taking forward then to the next one. Next one is, if you just consider the next question is talking about A complement intersection B. Now A complement, what is A? A is this part, A part. So complement means this area. I'm just uh, drawing complement area first. Now first complement area is this area. Okay. Now, now next thing they said intersection B. Intersection B means if I'm going to talk about B, B is this area, which is common between this A intersection B, right? So this area will be your answer of A intersection, A complement, sorry, A complement, intersection B. Okay? Is it clear? Am I clear? Any doubt? No, sir. Thank you. So let's go to the next part. Next part is problem number four. X is an integer. J has given 1 to 10, means between 1 to 10 values. E has a, uh, okay, now we have to complete this information into this Venn diagram. So before we start with the Venn diagram, let's begin with the information which is given over here. So first we are going to write about what is given as um, Xi. So Xi means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. That is given information for Xi. Now let's write for A. X is a factor of 12. Factor of 12 means one could be a factor, two also, three, four, six, and seven is not possible, eight is not possible, nine, 10, 11, 12. So these are the factor. Now X is an odd number. Odd number is one, three, five, seven, nine, okay, among this, only this many values. Now next one is, see, x is a prime number. Prime number will be two, three, five, seven, right? So two, three, five, seven are prime number. Mm, rest, any values are there? No, nothing is there. So now we have to fill this box, okay? Now, first, we are, I'm going to start with um, I'm going to start with uh, a set a one two three four five six twelve. Now, up to twelve, we have to check now uh, between b a b. What are the common thing? One is common. 
so I'm writing one here. Three is common, so I'm writing three here. And okay, so no other values. So rest of the values you are going to put it over here. So two could be here, four, six, and twelve. Now it it might be changed. That time we'll check that what will be the common values and all. So one, two, four, three, four, six, and twelve. We have did, we did it for that. Now we are going for B. So one and three is already there. We have to manage for five, seven, and nine. Next one we are going for prime number. Prime number is two, three, five, seven. So C is here. So two, two can this one can come over here. So we have to delete two. Now for three, three can be come over here common because it is there. Two, three, five. Now five, five you can bring it there. That is also existing for C. Now seven, seven also you can bring over there as a common. So seven also come over here. Now two, three, five, seven already C already filled up, and these are the all elements are there for A and B as well. So let's have a check. One, three, five, seven, nine. One, two, three, four, six, and twelve. And for C, two, three, five, seven. Yes, it is matching. So what are the values which are not there? Not in this set, but it is existing over here. So one is there, two is there, three also there. Next is um, four is also there, five is there, six also there, seven. Eight, it is not there. So eight will go outside. Now nine, nine is there and 10. So 10 will come over here. So this is the complete Venn diagram set. This is the way how you are going to uh, bring all the number and put it into one place as per, as per the guide, guidance of the question, right? Okay, now let me scroll down to the next part because next part is related to this question only. I'm not deleting because I'll come back over here. Uh, use the set notation to complete each statement. Okay, each statement you have to complete six dash a. Now let's go to over here. Six is six is belongs to a. That means it could be answer for. Uh, six belongs to a because six is an element is an element in the set a so that could be answer okay that is will be the dash answer so let's see next part uh, a intersection b intersection c so what is common between a b and c intersection means common so let's have check I'll check so this is a part of two actually uh, a intersection B intersection C that means common common between A B C is only three okay next one next one is given A intersection A complement okay A intersection A complement A intersection A complement means A intersection A complement it is uh, a is there, A complement means rest of the part. A complement is rest of the part. So common between A and rest of the part. Anything is there. Anything is there between A and A complement. Common. I'm not getting. So I write not. Okay, okay. That means number of element in B is this is the number part three, I think. So we can write it as part three. Number of element in B is one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so this one was um, this is for part three. So let's go to the next one. Next one is B. Uh, use the set notation to complete the statement. Okay, we'll go to the B one, but beforehand, 
if you if you have not noted this thing so i suggest quickly note it so we can take it forward okay so x is p q s and t what is y over here y is s and r and what is z over here that is u v and t and if you talk about xi, xi has all the values like P, Q, S, T, R, U, V, and W. Because W also there, the outside. So you have to say, use the set notation, set notation to complete the statement. U, V is in set Z. So it should be a subset. You can write it as a subset. Okay, or you can say it's a proper subset. It will be a proper subset. That is also fine. Okay, because all the elements are there, which is a proper subset. Okay, now sh the shared x intersection z union y complement. Now z union y complement means uh, we should not consider the z union y and common between x intersection intersection means this part right so this answer will be p and q part so the straight this region i have said it okay okay this is the part okay you have to completely write it so six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve because these are the elements over here. Next is M is an odd number. Odd number means one, three, five, seven, nine, eleven. Or oh, missed out anything? One, three, five, seven, nine, eleven. Okay. So it's good. Now this is for n. N for multiple of three. So multiple of three, six, nine, uh, and twelve. Right? Let's write it. Odd number one, three. So common between them is three, nine. Three and nine common I have written. Now one, three, five, seven, nine, eleven. Now for uh, n value, which is given multiple of three. So three, six, nine, twelve. What are the rest of the values? Now rest of the values you have to uh, just write it. And in the form of um, outside means you have to write like one is already taken, so two is there, three also there, four not considered over here, so four, uh, so three is there, four, okay, five, five is there, six, six is there, seven is there, eight is not there, so eight, write it, nine is there, ten, no, it is not there, so write it, ten. And 11 it is there, 12 also there. So these are the values which should be outside these circles, right? 2, 4, 8, 10, and these are the values which is between M and N. Okay, now we are going to answer below problem. Problem is first is saying N of N. That means number of elements in the set N. So first, you have to consider the, what is the value of N of N. The number of element in this one, number of element in this one is four. Okay, now next question is number two. We are going for number two. Number two is write down the set M intersection N. So write down the set M intersection N is uh, M intersection N. That means this is three and nine. Okay, next problem. Number three, write down the set P where P is a subset of M. Write down the set P is a subset of, sorry, subset of M. So I can create a subset, suppose uh, P, number three this is, P is a subset. So if I'm going to create one, five, seven, Anything you can create, which is can be a subset of M, right? 
So next one. Oh, sorry, it is super super set. Yeah, correct. Answer is correct. So next one is uh, okay. This these are the part. These are the answer of part one. One, two, three. These are the part of question number one. Next, we are going to do part B. So let's add the value. So two plus okay. I'm writing the expression. So two plus four plus one plus seven plus six plus three plus two plus x. So that has to be thirty. So let me check. Two plus four plus one plus seven plus six plus three plus two plus x. Okay, so you have covered everything. So two plus four is six plus one seven plus seven is fourteen plus six twenty twenty plus three twenty three plus two is twenty five, right? So twenty five plus x is thirty. So x equals to thirty minus twenty five. That means five. So answer of x should be five. Use the set notation. Use the set notation. Let's just join. Okay. Uh, to use a set notation to describe the shaded region in the Venn diagram. Okay. Now you can see if this there is a shaded region and the color is uh, already given, so you have to explain it. Okay. So it is a common between C intersection M, right? This is the common part, and which is given as a set of Seven and six, or six and seven. Okay. Now find n, n of c intersection m union b. Now m union b intersection means m union b. Uh, their intersection means except this m union b rest of the part, and c intersection m union b means I have only this part, right? And in between there is only one digit value. So number of element is one. If it is asking for what is the number, that should be three. But how many elements? It's a thirty students. So number of yeah. So it is could be three. Okay. We have mobile phone, computer, and this is that. Okay. Three elements. I hope uh, my I am audible. So, four, three, one, and we have checked that value. That is, uh, these are the number of students between uh, the number of things. So, four, three plus four plus three is seven plus one is eight. Eight plus two is ten. Ten plus eight is eighteen. So, number of people over here for that is eighteen. Okay. Now we'll go for the next one on the Venn diagram. Share the region if complement S intersection. So F is here. Complement means rest of the part of F. That is this rest of the part. Uh, intersection S. So S is this area. Yeah. So this is the intersection part of F complement. Complement. Complement means rest of the part. So this. This is the shaded region for part B. Okay. Is it clear? So it is talking about. It's talking about in the way diagram shaded region A union B intersection. So A union B complement. Now A is this area. Union B complement. B complement means except the rest of the part. So rest of the part means this area, right? Including this is A union. A union means you have to include A. So this will be your shaded region, which is uh, mentioning for A union, A union B complement. Okay. I'm doing it, uh, making you understand. The Venn diagram shows the number of elements in each set. It is shown over here. The number of element, 
number of element in p complement p complement means p except p rest of the part rest of the part means 10 and 9 19 is there now 10 and 9 then they said intersection of q that means rest of the part and q that's a common only this part right so this number p intersection q it should be 10 because there's a number of elements it's 10 complete the statement n dash is 17 n dash is 17 means how you are getting this information from this Venn diagram as uh, 17. So you need to check how, how, you, how you can get the 17. So if I, if I take P union Q, I'm going to get 18, right? And if I'm going to take uh, um, P and nine, okay? That is going to give me 17, right? So what should I write that then I can write P union, um, not P union, so P means total eight, union, I see if I just, just omit this part of that. Check if it is satisfying. 